Hey guys, so today I'm here with a comparison between the iPod Touch 2nd generation, which is on the left, and the iPod Touch 4th generation, which is on the right. And of course, a lot of this stuff does apply to the iPod Touch 3rd generation, as they are pretty much identical hardware-wise. Um, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything from the screens, I'm going to go show you the hardware, just about anything you might want to know, even including the cases and how it works, and all kinds of stuff, guys, so definitely stay tuned. So to begin with, let's go ahead and take a look at how thin these are. Um, so of course, the iPod Touch 2nd and 3rd generation both were extremely, extremely thin, pretty much thinner than almost any kind of iPod or phone or media player. I mean, it's very, very, very thin. However, the iPod Touch 4th generation has improved upon that. And as you guys can see here, there is a pretty considerable difference in size. Um, it's even more profound, but go ahead and just take it and make myself a little iPod sandwich here. Um, as you guys can see there, the iPod Touch second generation is much thicker. Now, of course, it actually, um, it's actually kind of surprising. I didn't think it was going to be that big a deal, but really the iPod Touch second generation, I mean, or rather the iPod Touch fourth generation, feels much better in the hand because it's thinner. I'm not so sure, if you guys can see, it's actually, uh, it tapers off a little bit uh, more sharply than on the second generation. And I really like how that, uh, that edge almost kind of like, like fits into your hand. I know it kind of sounds a little bit odd, but really the iPod Touch fourth generation is fantastic to hold and Man, I so wish Apple had not went with this, uh, the shiny aluminum because man, it gets scratched up. As you guys can see here, I've had it for like next to no time at all and it's already gotten pretty decently scratched up. Um, so I've always keep my iPods in the case and you probably should too, but man, the iPod Touch 4th generation does feel great in the hand. It's very, very thin. Um, so go ahead and just set them on the sides. I'm just kind of give you guys a tour of the devices. So you can see here pretty much everything is the same on the sides, although on the 4th generation, you actually can see the volume buttons are separate. Whereas on the second generation, they're kind of, uh, well, they're kind of one button that's kind of two pieces. Definitely do like the volume buttons on the fourth generation. They do work quite well. Uh, coming around to the top, you actually see that the sleep weight buttons have changed. So on the iPod Touch second generation, it is on the left side, whereas on the fourth generation, it's on the right side. Um, now, I actually prefer the second generation for a couple reasons. Well, for one, I'm just used to this. But the main thing is, as you guys can see here, go ahead and if my camera decides to focus, as you can see here on the second generation, the button, well, that's not really focusing, <laughs> let me here back it up a little bit, um, but as you can see here on the second generation, the button is uh, protrudes a little bit, but when I go ahead and uh, move the fourth generation up a little bit, you can see it kind of is recessed, and to be honest, that is kind of a little bit of an issue because when you're, you know, you need to go ahead and hit the sleep wake button, you actually need to go ahead and grab it from behind and then try to, you know, kind of click it, so it's not a huge deal as far as the hardware goes, but it definitely is kind of an issue. Um, now going ahead and coming over here. And you can see here the bottoms are actually a little bit different. Um, where the second generation, the speaker kind of uh, came out of this hole, I believe, anyway. It's always what it seemed like. Um, now, the fourth generation now, the speaker comes out of this hole. And again, actually, I'm not entirely glad of this change, just because, uh, whereas on the second generation, no matter how you hold it, like especially like my pinky get, usually goes there, um, it doesn't really block anything. However, with the fourth generation, Go ahead and your pinky just goes right over there, kind of covers up the uh, the uh, speaker, and it definitely does degrade the audio quality quite a bit. However, again, not a huge deal. A lot of these are just nitpicks, just because obviously I've used this, I know this extremely well. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Of course, on the front, um, you do have the FaceTime camera, whereas you don't have it on the iPod Touch. And flipping them both over to the back, you do have the uh, the 720p high definition video camera and a microphone instead of the Wi-Fi antenna. Um, so guys, that's pretty much it for the hardware overview. One of the biggest improvements to the iPod Touch 4th generation was definitely the Retina display. Uh, so guys, actually, to go ahead and take a look, the iPod Touch 4th generation is on the right, and the second is on the left. I highly recommend go ahead and put this video into high definition, uh, 720p, and look at it in full screen to really see the difference. Um, I'm not entirely sure how well the camera picks this up, guys, as about as zoomed in as I can. Um, but I can really tell in person there's a huge difference, especially when you look at text, which I'll go ahead and show you guys in a second. But huge difference, the Retina display looks fantastic. Now I'll go ahead and show you some speed tests as well as just a little bit more about the Retina display. Uh, so before we begin, I do just want to say that both of these iPods are on iOS 4.1, the most recent update as of this video. And as you can see here, the iPod Touch 2nd generation does not support native multitasking, and the iPod Touch 4th generation, the multitasking is cleared out. So this should be a fairly fair fight. They both are connected via the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a site, show you how the loading times, and also going to show you what the Retina display looks like. So go ahead and load these at the same time. So ready, set, go. So you guys can see here, well, I'm pretty sure you guys pretty, will be able to figure it out, but yeah, there we go, the iPod Touch 4th generation done, and <laughs> there we go. So 
I Club Touch fourth generation definitely won by a mile. It was no contest at all. And guys, I could show you a bunch of different websites, but really there's no difference. I Touch fourth generation much, much faster no matter what. Now let me go ahead and show you guys the Maps application. So just in case you can't tell, the iPod Touch fourth generation is on the right and the iPod Touch second generation is on the left. So let's go ahead and just zoom in on Mexico, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and try this at the same time. Probably won't be able to, but... So you look, look, you can see there's a huge difference. Again, let's do it again. And actually, the iPod Touch second generation barely won, but a lot of this does have to do with Wi-Fi, so let's go ahead and just keep zooming in. There we go. So, this is not an entirely fair fight. I do understand that, guys, so... You know, I, don't, I know that you can get a ton of comments saying, well, that's not fair, but trust me, again, when I say, I mean, the iPod Touch 4th generation is got a, almost a twice as fast processor, and generally when it maps me, you can go ahead and let's just go ahead and just start zooming and go ahead and scroll. I mean, there's no slowdown, whereas when I try to do this on the iPod Touch, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to do pretty decent, but as you can see, there's a little bit of choppiness. Whereas that really just does not exist in the iPod Touch 4th generation. So, again, pretty much any of my tests, doesn't matter what it was, iPod Touch 4th generation was considerably faster. So, obviously, it's what you expect with new hardware, but definitely good news if you're thinking of upgrading. So, guys, that's just about it for my comparison between the 2nd and the 4th generation iPod Touches. Uh, so, guys, to sum up, I think that the 4th generation is a fantastic upgrade if you're like me and you're still using a 2nd generation. Or even if you do have a 3rd generation, there is still a lot here for you. Um, so, like I said, guys, there's a ton of stuff. There's, you know, the Retina display, which is fantastic looking. Really just can't say enough about the display. Um, you know, I really like the, it's got FaceTime. It's got a really nice back-facing camera as well. Um, it is thinner. Uh, now, not to say that it's, it's perfect, I do think that Apple actually did kind of make a couple of steps backward. Um, for example, I really, it's not a deal breaker by any means, but it really is kind of annoying, the uh, sleep wake button. I'm not really sure why they, um, they couldn't have just go ahead and pretty much just stuck with the same one from the second generation. That's a little bit of an issue. Um, as well as the, uh, hooking up the dock connector is a little bit difficult. Uh, just because the dock connector is literally the exact same thickness. And actually, if you guys just kind of want to get a uh, feel for it, grab one of your standard Apple 30-pin dock connectors. It is identical to the thickness of the new iPod Touch. Um, but you know, just kind of something random. But that dock connector does not fit very well, and it doesn't matter what, it, the new or the old style, it doesn't fit very well. You kind of have to kind of force it in, which I don't like. Um, but guys, those are pretty minor things. And in general, I highly recommend if you're interested in an iPod Touch or for whatever reason, the fourth generation is definitely fantastic. And as an added bonus, which I really don't recommend you do this, but you actually can use your second generation case for fourth generation. So I'll go ahead and just show you. Um, it doesn't fit very well. It will depend on the case. A lot of the stuff won't work. So for example, the sleep white buttons over here, um, the power, I mean, the, uh, the volume buttons are a little bit different, and it, the iPod Touch second generation is a little bit wider than the fourth generation, but I did just want to kind of mention that you can use, and if, if you're, you know, you, you aren't able to get a case immediately, you can use this to protect your iPod a little bit until you can get a normal case, but guys, that's kind of just, uh, just kind of something I did notice, and I didn't see anybody else tell you, so I figured I want to go ahead and uh, mention that. But anyway, guys, that's about it for my comparison. Really very impressed with the iPod Touch 4th generation. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.